ये मेरे पास क्लाइंट आई थी उसने मुझे पेमेंट देनी थी तो उसके पास कैश नहीं था उसने कहा आप अपना अकाउंट नंबर दे दो मैंने कहा नहीं मैं इतना टाइम नहीं होता कि मैं बैंकों में जाऊं और लंबी लाइनों में खड़ी हूं तो मैंने कहा नहीं आप मुझे कैश दे देना तो उसने कहा नहीं इसकी आपको ज़रूरत नहीं अब तो आसान अकाउंट आ गया है बहुत आसान हो गया अब तो मेरे लिए पहले मुझे सोचना पड़ता था मैं पोलर बंद करूंगी घर से बाहर जाऊंगी अब मुझे ये सब कुछ नहीं करना पड़ता अब इजीली सारे काम मेरे हो जाते जैसा कि हमारी विलेज की औरतों के लिए बैंक का जाना बिल्कुल गैर जरूरी Airports in the world, in terms of how they are addressing the, the the sustainability aspects, are the small ones. Because in that airports, we are able to, in a small scale, to test and develop certain things that will be implemented in the big airports in the future. For example, uh, we have uh, uh, airports like uh, Groningen in um, in the Netherlands, uh, Lyon here in France, Queen's Church in New Zealand, that are very very well advanced in production and use of. Uh, 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 hydrogen, for example, you know, and how this hydrogen will be able to benefit the industry of the future.
way that people all over the world will experience climate change is through more frequent and more intense extreme weather events. And these can be floods, storms, droughts, wildfires, or heat waves. This is because warmer air messes with a lot of physical processes. One of them is the water cycle. We know that for every degree, um, one degree of Celsius average warming, the air will hold about 7% more moisture, more intense storms. The flooding that destroyed the town of Derna, Libya last year, that was, after the fact, assessed to be a one in 600 year event. However, scientists have said that climate change made that event 50 times more likely and 50% more intense. What that means is that event has now become essentially a one in 15 year event, meaning it will happen again in our lifetimes. You can use space, for example, for agriculture. Um, for uh, STEM education, for gender empowerment, for um, clean water and sanitation. So whatever you think, it will have a space-based solution. Space is really a tool for, uh, for example, to try to tackle the uh, climate crisis. Um, we have to monitor 55 essential climate variables, and uh, more than half of them can only be monitored in a precise and continuous manner from space. So this is essential for us to understand what's happening. If you can measure, for example, the sea level rise, you know the impact on the shores, and therefore you can intervene, uh, for example, relocating certain villages on the shore, things like that. So it has also uh, a preventive nature. We are in a phase where we are talking about, you know, uh, being able to develop um, transportation systems uh, which can bring us to the moon, which can bring us to Mars, but also the same type of rockets can go in space and come back in another place, in another place on the surface of the surface of the Earth. This means that, for example, you can go from, I don't know, from London to Los Angeles in 30 minutes. You see that uh, countries which on Earth not necessarily are friends or are not collaborating, well, in space they uh, work together for the same goal. And if we use it uh, in a proactive and preventive manner, it can help also to try to maintain the peaceful uses of outer space and not only peace on Earth. Mm -hmm.